My mother once told me that the world was my oyster and I could do whatever I wanted in life. Because of that, I decided to take her great advice and become a degenerate who spends his life making YouTube videos in between cooking hot pockets and extended crying sessions. That's right, I'm living the dream. That was a car crash of an intro. Can you beat Outbreak and Cold War zombies with only the combat knife? So when I say beat, I mean the easter egg, and when I say the easter egg, I mean the second one because while I do enjoy pain, trying to beat the legion is a bit of a step too far unless you guys really want to see it. And because we can only use the knife and Outbreak right now is harder than your dad at FurryCon, we need to complete pretty much every objective that we can to make sure we go into the boss fight as prepared as possible. That means our first order of business was feeding a robo dragon enough rotting flesh that he could successfully return to his homeworld, Godspeed you magnificent asshole. After that, I discovered a group of dead Requiem soldiers and knew I had to hunt down the culprits because their commander owed me 20 bucks and a handjob. Angry at the fact that I clearly wasn't getting my handjob now, as an illegal compensation after going to court for multiple months, I received stamina up, which could have been worse considering I could have gotten something useless like a fine arts degree or speed cola. Our main objective this round was to defend a rocket while filling it with enough purple stuff that its tummy will get full. Once that's completed, I bought Quick Revive, Juggernaug, and a Pack Punch my knife for the first time. I also grabbed Turn for it because if no one at school wants to be my friend, then I'll just make friends myself. Sometimes you need to be a man in life and take matters into your own hands, even if that means digging up a stranger's body in a graveyard and bringing them home to play Mario Kart on the Wii with you. Tom might not be too talkative, but man, he can play some damn good Mario Kart, alright? For being a corpse, he's hella good. Round 2 started out great because I got rewarded with a rake hay that I literally couldn't use, so thanks Treyarch, you're always there for me and I appreciate it. From there, I needed to take my anger out on someone and the order just happened to be nearby. This was also a good opportunity for me to see what I'll be up against later on and to my surprise, he went down just like Conor McGregor did last week. All I needed to do was take out his ankle and the bitch came crumbling down in seconds. And to show my dominance and I was feeling on top of the world, the order dropped me a golden rarity knife that I then went and beat up the stupid panzer with. Because after multiple videos of being dominated by this thing, I finally get my little ounce of revenge and it felt good. It felt better than what I assume that sex feels like because I'm never going to get any because I'm a gamer. And because I'm a gamer, we don't lose and that means that we don't lose our virginity because virginity is cool and it makes Jesus happy as well phase up, something like that. I don't know. What do the kids say anymore? Back to the main objectives, I had to grab some totally safe uranium rods that 100% aren't going to make me grow a third arm at the end of the week, but once that's completed, I spent a few minutes beating the shit out of my blue balls until they exploded. It was at this point that I decided to almost pretty much abandon my original knife in favor of the golden one that dropped earlier. I'll keep the other one for a second ammo mod, but the gold one is the new main knife that I'll be using, and after double pack punching it and going on to round 3, I literally got sent to the one map that I couldn't get sent to for this easter egg to begin. So that means I'll be finishing this easter egg one round later than I would have liked to, which is fine I guess, but it makes things a bit harder. But out of frustration at the situation, I absolutely decimated this poor HVT that spawned in. Dude probably spent years in the dark ether waiting for this moment, training, getting just mentally prepared. He spawns in and just gets absolutely obliterated by some dude with a really low IQ that's only holding a knife. On round 4, I could finally get this easter egg going. The first real step is to find a red portal, head through it, and then go through more red portals before touching the ground. It's a simple enough task and once you're done you get a beacon thingy that drops out of it. You take that over to the big beacon and you ask your mom to come pick you up from soccer practice because dad was a bit too drunk to remember that you even existed. Now we can finally head to sanatorium where we must investigate a downed helicopter where someone's dead but the scientists that got out of it and didn't die were nice enough to leave a recording of their plans and where they're headed to so you can save them. After that I spent 15 minutes looking for a red ball that did not spawn in because I apparently needed to interact with the rover first. Thanks YouTube tutorials for not telling me that you absolute assholes. But sometime later I was able to get the ball where it needed to be and then I had to find a fucked up looking bunny because the ball didn't want to leave without his bunny friend. I'm not sure how a ball of energy needed a friend and didn't want to go in the cage without it but Treyarch logic apparently. But now this is where shit gets serious. I needed to guide the rover to its destination with two megatons, 
fully armored zombies, and I needed to take a shit. Once I was done, we headed up to find- wait, this is a video game storyline, and clearly the guys we were trying to help were very obviously killed by the bad guys. Oh no, I didn't really see that one coming, oh wow, such a, a good storyline something. After a few minutes of parkouring around on communist Mount Rushmore and not really caring about the story because it was boring at that point, the boss fight was finally beginning. I jumped into the arena and right away made the mistake of going for the panzer just because I wanted to get him out of the way and didn't want him to be bothering me later on in this boss fight. But the fucker took a lot of my armor so from there I was pretty much playing on borrowed time and I felt like I was screwed. Despite that I soldiered on until the Orta Hulk smashed me the way that your dad Hulk smashes a coffee table when he's run out of his happy juice. I refused to buy him more because that's been 10 bottles this week and once again he smashed me but this time for good and that was GG. We aren't done yet though because I'm a stubborn an asshole and even though I made mistakes I refuse to acknowledge them and keep professing my way is the correct one because that's how you go through life you don't listen to anyone besides yourself so let's just run through the second game very briefly all right I use knife, knife go whoosh, zombies go bye bye, and I put bunny in a cage. This time around, however, I was going in less prepared than the first game. I only had two bars of armor, and my knife was still on the purple rarity, which may present a problem, but we'll see. After going for a bit of fishing to clear my head, we finally got the rover moving towards the boss arena again. That went fairly smooth actually, and after a few minutes of parkour, I was ready to fuck up this Orta. Because I was on a lower round than last time, there were less big boss zombies to fight, and I went about slowly massacring all the zombies until it was pretty much just me and the Orta alive. That is until the big deformed prick just kept spawning in like 10 zombies at a time, and that just got really annoying after a few minutes, so I said screw it, popped my friend's guard, and sliced his ankles until he couldn't take any more. With that, I think we can say that yes, you can beat the Outbreak Easter Egg with only a knife, even if it took multiple tries because the Orta is a stupid cunt. This also reminds me, we're going to save Raptor 1 in a few days, and Mauer de Toten is going to be coming out on Thursday, I believe, and I think this video is going to be coming out on Tuesday, so we're pretty excited for that one, and I'm pretty excited to be able to play with Klaus. If you don't know who Klaus is, he's basically the armor machine guy, and now he's become sentient, and he's going to be like a civil protector, and he's my new best friend because he's got a cool mustache, and I I'm just super excited about this. I quite honestly could not care about anything else in that map besides Klaus. He is my favorite part of that trailer and I'm so excited. But with that said, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a like. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers because at that point you can watch me suffer and make a bunch of suck jokes on transit trying to get round 100 with only a jet gun. Uh, yeah, leave me some more challenges in the comments below. I'm excited for Mauer to Toten. I hope you guys are too. Love you uh, more than your dad does. Well, that's not very much at all. But anyway, bye.